Latest uh, from the war between Israel and Hamas. A month into the conflict, the IDF began a major new phase by sending forces deeper into sa inside Gaza City. The ground troops have been battling Palestinian militants uh, inside Gaza for over a week now already, cutting the territory in half and encircling the main city in the north. With the latest, here's Vadika Bahel. Explosions rock Gaza City one after the other as smoke fills the air. One month on from Hamas's bloody attack, Israel says its forces had advanced into the heart of Gaza and that the bombing wouldn't stop until its hostages were freed. Gaza City is encircled. We're operating inside it. We're increasing pressure on Hamas every hour, every day. We've killed thousands of terrorists above and below ground. There will be no ceasefire without the release of our hostages. The Israeli military also released these images, saying it had uncovered more of Hamas's network of tunnels that it's been targeting adjacent to an amusement park. Tuesday saw another wave of airstrikes across the Gaza Strip, with hundreds more Palestinians fleeing from north to south on Israel's instruction. Though even in the south, bombardment continues, like here in Dar al Bala where strikes flattened several buildings. This is the harshest war of all, the worst one. We have nothing. We're left with nothing. We struggle to feed our children or even to get a piece of bread. In the north, this was the aftermath of the Al-Shati refugee camp after an aerial onslaught. And the Al-Shifa hospital, where each strike inches ever closer to the medical complex, where supplies continue to dwindle. According to the Red Cross, its humanitarian convoy also came under gunfire. The month of relentless bombardment in Gaza has claimed the lives of over 10,000 Palestinians, with two-thirds of them women and children, according to the Hamas-run